Very happy to be joined now by... Well, if you haven't heard Courtney Love's Women yet, you need to, because not only do you get Courtney Love, some incredible songs, but also uh, Courtney's co-host is Rob Havilla, who joins me now on the line. Where in the world are you, Rob? Rob? I am in lovely Columbus, Ohio. Very good. That's home for you, is it? It is, yes. And it's, you know, it, it's not London, you know, but it'll do for me for now. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's as glamorous as I can handle at this point in my life. It's so good having you on the series. Um, it's been brilliant. It's all on BBC Sounds now, chronicling Courtney's life and career. So tell me, how did you, because you're an author and a podcaster, um, your latest yeah. book is 60 Songs That Explain the 90s, and that's a podcast as well. But how did you get involved with this project, Rob? Well, I did an episode of the podcast on Hole, on doll parts. Uh-huh. And I guess somebody passed it to Courtney, you know, and suddenly Courtney Love is reaching out to me, I think over email. And that is by far, by orders of magnitude, the most surreal moment of my entire career <laughs> is just talking to the Courtney Love in any format for any reason. Did you think you know, it, was it was spam? One of I, I didn't believe it was her. It was one of those things where I thought that my friend had set up a fake email account, mm. you know, and this was, you know, I was being elaborately pranked. Yeah. But finally, I was convinced that it was her, and suddenly, you know, I'm talking to Courtney Love, you know, on WhatsApp, and then a little bit on Zoom, and I just, I, I could not believe that this was happening. So what did Courtney like about it the most? Was, was it the fact that you'd taken a refreshing take on doll parts, or what? Um, you know, I, I, I guess she did find it refreshing, you know, I, growing up in the 90s, growing up in America, you know, just MTV, you know, being my main window to the world and pop radio, you know, Courtney was such a divisive figure, right? You know, she was so combative, you know, and she took a lot of heat from a lot of different people. And so I, I do think that it was might have been just as simple as I just I tried to take her on her own terms and just sort of treat her like a person. Yeah. You know, and try and find the humanity in all these people, you know, all these rock stars, you know, who are gods to us, you know, quite literally sometimes, you know, but just try and find, you know, try to remember that they are just people, too. And just the frailty, the vulnerability there, you know, I just tried to give her her due, you know, as just a person, as a human being, sure. you know, and, and, and maybe maybe she found that refreshing. And take me through the series, Rob? What do you focus on in each episode? It's one song per episode, right? You know, and we I, I did 120 of them all told, and the first one was You Ought to Know, you know, Alanis Morissette, that seemed like a good place to start. You know, but just to try and span the entire decade and like the micro genres within that decade. You know, there's a lot of grunge, of course. Yeah. You know, you do get Pearl Jam, Nirvana, etc. Hole. You know, but also all the rap music from that time. You know, Dr. Dre, Lauren Hill, Missy Elliott. You know, Jay Z. I mean, there's so many genres. You know, there's there's so many sort of micro scenes. You know, ska was really popular for half a half a half a minute there, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neo swing. So that's the 90s. <laughs> so when you were asked to work on this series for BBC Sounds, Courtney Loves Women, what did you want to focus on and what did you and Courtney agree that you would focus on for each of these episodes then? I am 1,000% just along for the ride here, man. I wanted to help Courtney do whatever Courtney wanted to mm. do and tell the story she wanted to tell. I mean, that's what people want. That's what she wants. You know, and so for me, it was just about letting her tell her story. You know, it's such a wild story. You know, if you, you start the episode, she's at the Monterey, the first episode, she's at the Monterey Pop Festival. <laughs> you know, like that's where it starts. You know, she's talking about the mamas and the papas, you know, but she goes from there. You know, she's in Oregon. She's in New Zealand. You know, she's in Japan, you know, for sort of an infamous little interval there. She goes to New York. She hangs out with Warhol. For a little bit, you know, of course, the Los Angeles of it all, you know, just the places she's been, you know, the people she's been, yeah, you know, it's just yeah. astounding to me. So for me, it was just about sitting back and just supporting her in telling this wild, you know, crazy, fascinating story, you know, that is the life that she's actually lived. And of course, music is at the heart of all of this. And I guess Courtney's yeah. broad taste in music really comes through, doesn't it, in the track listing for the podcast? It absolutely does. If you had asked me to like guess what 
Courtney Love's first 45 was, <laughs> it would have taken me like a thousand guesses to get to ABBA's Waterloo, <laughs> right? You know, like just the way that we, we bring in pop, she brings in pop and R&B and soul and jazz. You know, if you're like me, if you grew up listening to Courtney, you, you associate her, you know, with, with grunge, with yeah. rock, you know, with metal, with, with this sort of this ferocity. And so to get that other side of her, you know, the pop songs, you know, the disco songs, you know, that she's loved as well. You know, she's so well-rounded in that sense as well. What's your, if you had to pick one, like, standout story that Courtney shares on Courtney Loves Women, <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? What would you pick, Rob? There's a couple. There's a there's a more serious one and there's a more lighthearted one. I think later in the series, there's a song by the band Garbage, mm. I think, that was written for Courtney, you know, that is about Courtney and it's sort of a sympathetic portrait of Courtney that I think came at, at one of the harder periods of her life, you know, and just listening to Courtney recount what it meant to her to hear that song, you know, and to know that, you know, these musicians, these friends, these people she respected were sort of reaching out to her musically, you know, at what may have been a low moment, you know, it's it's a really, it's it really had a huge effect on me, just, just sitting on the other end of that Zoom call, you know, yeah. listening to her recount that. Um, one that I really love very early on is she's, you know, I don't think she's even quite a teenager yet, but she's young and she's hanging out with these cute boys and hearts crazy on you comes on the radio and one of the cute boys says something like i hate it when chicks sing like this and it was like a light bulb went off over her head i feel like the entire history of courtney love thereafter can be traced back to that moment you know everything she's done all the music she's made is like directed at that person wow you know just to show that person you know <laughs> yeah 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 chicks can sing like this Oh, this is brilliant. I'm looking forward to reaching that story. In the series, it's Courtney Loves Women. You can listen to it on BBC Sounds uh, globally. Rob Havilla, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. And I love that, although you've worked and, you know, you obviously get on with Courtney really well, but you're yet to meet in the flesh, right? Absolutely not. This is entire, entirely mediated on what? Email, WhatsApp, and Zoom. Yeah. You know, like, it's it's surreal. I, it's, I, I, I know it's her. You know, I have a few indications that it's the real Courtney Love <laughs> at this point, but there's, like, 2% of my brain who still thinks this is some sort of elaborate AI prank that's being played on me personally. <laughs> it is wild to me to be talking to